Yo, what is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. I am your host, Logic Motion. It is April 11th. Let's get into the gaming news, baby. Okay, so let's get into the first story of this video, which is the Dead Space 2 remake. So Dead Space 2 remake reportedly shelved following lackluster sales of the first game. Update, we don't normally comment on rumors, but there's no validity in this story, EA claims. So all this is going to tell a story. So let's circle back to another article. We see season seven is the last season for Battlefield 2042, right? So this season that we're in right now for Battlefield 2042 is going to be the last season, right? And so, and we also have Motive Studios is joining the Battlefield franchise, right? So Motive Studios are the people that gave us the Dead Space remake. So take all this into account, right? So Motive Studios is apparently working on the Iron Man game. Now they've joined the Battlefield franchise, so they're working on finishing up Battlefield 2042, probably, and then they're probably going to work on the next Battlefield game, right? And so they're supposed to be doing Iron Man, Battlefield, and Dead Space. I, I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's possible, at least in a timely manner, for them to do all three of those games, right? So we're probably going to see... We're probably going to see the next Battlefield game. We're probably going to see Iron Man. And then Dead Space will probably be like way out in the future. Um, it just, why would you add Motive Studios to the Battlefield franchise for them to work on when you have the other teams working on it, right? So you have Criterion, you have DICE, you have Ripple Effect. Criterion are the people that gave us the Burnout Paradise uh, games, the Need for Speed games. So you have all these people working on the Battlefield franchise, but just kind of neglecting your other titles, right? And I don't know why they're putting so much stock in the Battlefield franchise. And I'm sure, like, it can be good. It's just, like, after 2042, I think it's time to take just a little break, right? The, the, the way 2042 came out, it just felt so disconnected from the fans. And it was essentially being regarded as the game for fans right they the, they put out a trailer of like all the cool stuff that you do like we've done in the years of battlefield so it was meant to be this game for the fans and it just turned out not to be anything like it i mean you you should have you should have seen it dear god it was awful i mean like you should have seen how battlefield 2042 shipped it was really bad i mean you had no scoreboard so for months there was no scoreboard in the game it was awful. You couldn't see how many kills. You couldn't see how many assists. You couldn't see what was going on in the scoreboard. And that's just like a staple. It should just be there. No complaints. Like that should be number zero. Like it should just be there, right? You didn't. You also didn't have uh, like your your loadouts, right? Your medic, your support, your engineer, like all that that we've grown up with Battlefield that kept it so different from all the other shooters or Call of Duty specifically. Uh, that gave it its own unique personality, right? They also added specialists, which was really weird just because Battlefield has never been about that, right? It's never been about having special characters or anything like that. Like, it's always just been like these no-name soldiers just thrown out there, medic support, uh, engineer, you know, assault. Like, it, it's always been something like that. So it really strayed away from what it, what it, what it was and that that's really why it just didn't do that great it wasn't really what battlefield fans wanted it wasn't what i wanted and i i still ended up playing it just because you know it's the most recent battlefield and i've i've gotten enjoyment out of it and it has gotten better but the way 2042 was built up it just it it can't be as good as the other battlefields the way it's it was built was just incorrect so you have to just start anew and just have a new battlefield from the ground up. That game was, it was not meant to be a battlefield game. It felt like it was trying to be more what call of duty was trying to be, especially with that specialist stuff. I don't know what they were doing with that. Uh, the idea was, I, I just don't know. I don't, I don't think it was a good idea back to dead space. I, I just, I, I don't see the, this being a good move just because like you, I'm pretty sure dead space remake sold well. Um, and so to take motive studio, put them on the battlefield franchise and you have no idea what fans want. It just feels like a dangerous move because if the next battlefield game isn't great, well, you know, motor studios or the people that are there at the moment might not even be there anymore just because, you know, they're going to lay them off or something, but mm, I don't know. Uh, it's really unfortunate to hear this. I, I don't like where this is going. I don't like 
this this happens with Activision as well, where you have like all these uh, game studios, they just start working for Call of Duty. They just start making skins or doing whatever for Call of Duty. So it's really unfortunate to hear. I hope they rescind this decision. They probably won't, but I, I'm hoping we could just get a, a new Dead Space game. It seemed like the remake was pretty good. People enjoyed it, and we need to push more games out like that. In other news, Lenovo is apparently working on a sequel to the Legion Go. So if you don't know, the Legion Go is like one of those cool PC handhelds that have just hit the scene, and uh, they, they've, been, they've been doing real good. Uh, you have the Steam Deck, you have the Asus ROG Ally, you have the Legion Go, like the one we're talking about, uh, and there's a bunch of others. Uh, I think the MSI Claw, the A and Neo, there's a bunch of PC handhelds, and they're all great and all fantastic in their own little ways, right? We have Lenovo working on a sequel, right? And so what's cool about this is that if Lenovo is working on a second version that means asus is probably working on a second version as well just because they both use the same chip uh the z1 extreme uh we could probably i mean I, I don't know about a new steam deck just because they released that OLED version i don't think we'll get a new steam deck probably to two or three years but uh this is really cool to see um and you can just kind of you can kind of make sense out of it since the asus uses the same chip as the lenovo you can probably expect another model coming from asus as well um, and I, I think it's just good for PC gaming, being able to game on the go. I feel like it's just like, it's so underrated. Uh, like just, just think like the Nintendo switch is like one of the best selling consoles. Right. And it's, it's for a reason, right? That handheld, that portability is like, people really want that. Just being able to play in bed, being able to post up on the couch, shit, <laughs> being able to play on the toilet. Like it, it's, it's all something people like dream to want to do that's why the switch sold so well and then that's why the steam deck sold so well people want to be able to game on the go you can't always just sit down at a tv or sit down at your computer or whatever and play games you it's you know your your world or your life is not always built like that so just being able to do those things on the go is really cool so um i'm excited for a new lenovo uh, legion go uh i think it's going to be good i probably won't buy it but just to keep that competition, keep that handheld ecosystem flowing. I think it's good. Uh, it is definitely great for PC gaming in general. And this will probably be the last story, which is the EA play subscription price being hiked up by 80% in some regions. So it was recently announced by electronic arts that the firm subscription service EA play is getting a serious price hike as of May 10th, 2024. The price of EA Play subscription will be increased by as much as 80% with the annual cost of standard subscription rising from $19.99 to $35.99, which is crazy. $29.99 to $39.99. Holy cow. Securing EA Play Pro subscription, the better tier of the service. There will be a new price tag of $109 from $89.99 per year to $119 from $99. So this is crazy i know there was probably some people paying for this i can't imagine them paying for it now but the reason i wanted to talk about this is just like subscriptions like suck uh i mean it's really everywhere like um this is like one of the big reasons why i like to game on pc just because it feels like if you're on console you're just getting like nickel and dimes you're already paying for your internet service right that's monthly you know and then now you have to add your online service like of your PlayStation or your Xbox or your uh, Nintendo. And luckily Nintendo doesn't cost that much. I think it's like 20 or whatever, something a year, but it doesn't cost that much. And that's great. But it really sucks. Like when you have like all these subscriptions, just like adding up, right? Like if you have PlayStation plus and you buy the year, you're paying $80 a year, right? Like you've bought your console for 500. You've now you're paying $80 a year, like over like three or four years, dude, you've probably like paid almost enough for like a brand new PC. So I don't know, man. It just, it just feels ridiculous. I don't like the idea. Like if, if the subscription was like $30 a year, like sure. Um, but man, $80 a year. And then even this EA play stuff is just, it's so wacky. Um, and then there's other stuff too. Like there's, there's multiple tiers of everything. So it's just like, it's nickel and dimes with everything in the games. Michael trans it, it, it's awful is everything has it, it's so it's so hard to play anything. Um, but yeah, this is why I'm a big advocate of just like PC gaming uh, just because there's no there's no real subscriptions. Um, and obviously, I'm not saying PC gaming is like perfect because like we have our problems. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, no, it's just, <laughs> you know, it's Sandy over here. 
But gosh, like how how much do you have to pay? You know, it's just it's just getting ridiculous. All right. So that's really all the gaming news I have for today. Obviously, there's a bunch of other smaller stuff that I could talk about as well. Just like the Vampire Survivor DLC. They're doing like a Contra themed DLC. There's also a Prince of Persia roguelike from Dead Cell Studio that's happening. That's in the works. So there are some really cool smaller stuff that is happening. But nothing that really warranted me talking about like two or three minutes about. Kind of like the Dead Space thing. I thought that was huge and I really wanted to talk about that. And I also really just wanted to shoo, shoo in like a subscription. Me talking about subscriptions just because I feel like it's, it's gotten really bad. Um, uh, and then I just, I just want to voice my opinion on it. Um, and I'm not trying to dissuade anybody from console because I think consoles do have their place, especially if, you know, you want to just turn on your uh, your PlayStation, get on the couch and just play like, you know, you, you can do that on PC. But like for some people, they just they want that super simplicity. They want the UI and all that, all that very, very, very simple. And that's absolutely fine. Um, but uh, like I said, that's all the news I got for today. Um, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you hate the video, give it a thumbs down. I really do appreciate the interactions. Um, and if you haven't already, please sub to the channel beyond plug and play. What's up? We try to put out videos every day. Uh, if there's exciting, super news, you know, but obviously that's not always the case. I always look around and I search around, but, uh, obviously not every day there can be like super stellar news or whatever, but, um, if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. My name is Logic Motion. This has been Beyond Plug and Play, and I'll see you next time. Take care.